Solve the inequality. Notice there's a fraction here, and there are two different ways to work with a fraction. You can leave it as is, or you can multiply the entire inequality by the 3 and get rid of the fractions and then continue to solve from there. Well, I'm going to keep it as is for the first time solving here. So subtract x from both sides. 2x minus x is x plus 2 thirds is greater than, and this x minus x is 0, so we just have the 8 left over. Now we're going to subtract 2 thirds from both sides. So x is greater than, because the 2 thirds minus 2 thirds makes 0, 8 minus 2 thirds. So 8 minus 2 thirds, we have to make the 8 into thirds first, so that's 24 thirds minus 2 thirds. So 24 thirds minus 2 thirds is 22 thirds. So x is greater than 22 thirds. Well, that's not one of the answer choices. Maybe we should take this from an improper fraction and write it as a mixed number. So remember how you do that? 22 divided by 3. 3 goes into 22 7 times. 7 times 3 is 21. Bring down the 1. So it's 7 and 1 third. So your answer here is D. Now let me show you if you multiply everything by 3 how that works out. 2x times 3 plus 2 thirds times 3 greater than x times 3 plus 8 times 3. So let's simplify. 2x times 3 is 6x. 2 thirds times 3 over 1. 2 times 3 is 6 divided by 3. And then you just get 2, so plus 2 greater than x times 3 is 3x plus 8 times 3, which is 24. Now I'm going to subtract 3x from both sides. So I'm going to get 6x minus 3x is 3x plus 2 greater than 3x minus 3x is 0, and then 24. Subtract 2. We're going to get 3x greater than 22. Move over here to finish it. 3x greater than 22 divided by 3. So x is greater than 22 thirds. So it's the same as we got here, right? So both processes worked out to have the same answer. And we can take this 22 thirds and make it a mixed number and get 7 and 1 third also. So that's two different ways to solve this inequality.